Hey guys, welcome this welcome this part of tutorial, which is a pretty nice tutorial by Technical Products Stars. Um, we are back here with uh, so guys, we decided to become a socialized. So we just uh, re recently started some socialized things. Uh, you can check out our YouTube channel here. We we just previously done this much, and we have become more socialized on Google Plus. So if you want something of, you, if you can see even see our YouTube here because you don't need if you just follow us on here you can directly get links through this tutorial which is presently begun for web designs and even we become you on a Facebook page if you wanted to give send us a request for something more difficult thing you have to do or you have some queries just just uh, like us on Facebook and just comment or you can comment directly on the description like comment below the video but you can just uh, post on the our YouTube page this which is user friendly uh, for that many thanks for listening that uh, so it's closing here previously we done this watch here is here we can see let's check it out this one is technology productions uh, we present here simply so this is what we done previously if you don't uh, watch that please watch the tutorial guys because uh, today we are gonna something of that same kind but of a drop down here pretty easy to do that but if uh, for that previous we have you have to learn how to do this so check out this video and meet with another portion now we can go is somewhere about here going to my dream river and once we got in the dream river guys we have to then I'm not gonna start with the scratch guys because previously what we did is this so gonna get an ally tag let me show you just put some end space so let me show you some space so you can not get confused what I'm typing here so this is it here we are here in our body tags so hit open a new tag with a class sub uh, so you can give any class that you prefer and end those classes and sub sorry guys end of Z and guys end of U L end of U L then this much you have to make sure so, sorry guys wait a minute we just done something mistakes so, uh, so here, here here with this much now I'm gonna open some ally tags for our preparations ally ally end of ally and ally and end of ally now this is an example we're gonna write just block block simply blocks you can write anything that's because it's a menu you can use it anyway it's a simple block writing here I'm gonna copy this gonna copy this whole UL with the class also because by class afterwards we'll get what's the importance of this class because it's pretty important to write that give a class so you don't have to get enclosed with much of the codes so if you done that much you will observe in uh, design view life so you can see this this uh, is what it looks like and if I hit F12 you can see this what it looks like not very much effective but later on we will just check it out how it, it looks perfect after we complete our job so in that we done this much previously we just gonna between common different slides and just write that's up uh, open close uh, curly phrase in time uh, just write visibility hidden semicolon save it there and inside that you have to write afterwards you have to write is that's up sorry guys don't write that that menu ally colon hover h o v e r hover not sorry guys hover you done the hover you have you, you be sure you have given space because without space it's gonna not gonna work you have to write that sub in that you just write visibility 
visible yeah visible I'm here guys using Dreamweaver because it's uh, pretty easy to write codes in Dreamweaver you can get it on so you can see this uh, drop down pretty appears and that's not the perfect thing but uh, looks great so we want some separations as in here we have some separations of waters we want some separations here so let's check it out how we can give a separation here so just write that menu like whenever that so can I write that sub in that sorry guys don't open that in here you open the sub class just write uh, that sub you have to write just border sorry guys I just, I just really got uh, frustrated sorry guys you have to do is that sub li open curly phrase in there just write border border hyphen top hyphen top one pixels space solid color just choose black color because it's gonna make something looks like this yeah that's fine it is not that much now guys we have to do just go to colorzilla.com uh, which is an online gradient editor which creates gradient uh, later on we will check it out what it does <laughs> the first previously we done this now we have to do is just make it some so make uh, just click here ultimate gradient generator we have to do is just make this curves so for that you have to do is just write dot uh, sorry guys you have to go in this one which is the third one of the child block 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 which I wrote just give it a class and I'm gonna fold fold now I'm gonna copy this gonna come down here and just paste it all replacing all these three and just uh, if save it now I'm gonna write that fold that fold and open close color face inside that I just write border bottom border bottom and just read hyphen left hyphen radius <coughs> so for that uh, just write 10 pixels uh, give it 10 pixels and just copy this text and just write paste it there for the left you have to write just write right save it F12 yeah you can see this it's got curved if you increase the value of 10 pixels more than that it's uh, gonna make some more rounded edges you can adjust it at your own now previous one previously we just given a color here at the last portion we're gonna change this because it didn't look nice effective so we're gonna change it to somewhere about blackish blue so we're gonna make somewhere the blue center and we're gonna change it to blackish blue yeah that's nice semicolon hit f12 now you can change the color changes but not didn't that much so it get the theme of black even on white now if you go in here generator colorzilla gradient generator you can get many of those pick any one gradient you like uh, which look effective but I'm gonna use the previous one what I used is somewhat here just gonna copy this copy this one which is blue 3d hash one coming here and just write uh, that's up right that's up colon hover and just write open close color faces inside that just write background and paste that what you copied now just repeat F12 so you guys we done something wrong which is uh, let it be we're gonna make something more interesting one for that that sub li copy this uh, yeah we done this much mistakes hit control Z Z Z Z now come that's right dot sub li colon hover 
in that just write background paste now we can done that that we have to come down and just write with colon 145 pixels 10 pixels increased f12 yeah you can see but it didn't look that effective because we didn't give a transition property which uh, which we're gonna apply it here somewhat here now what is transition property guys it just uh, makes your hover transition slower and looks more interesting in some taking some time so just write transition transition all space 0.5 seconds or point point 0.1 seconds and easy now to ease 0 seconds now what this means guys it's uh, anything in the hover state or any other state will be affected and 0.1 seconds and e with ease we're gonna ease means it's gonna be as linear linear form and 0 seconds delay no delay anyone hover on that directly starts the hover state so transition that's much that's fine guys now we're gonna copy this if we, if we did you're using another browser that and then Mozilla sorry guys rather than Chrome it's not gonna work like this so you're gonna paste it f twice or four times five totally five times just write hyphen mos which is for Mozilla which are render prefixes ms for Internet Explorer uh, op o for Opera and this for last one is for WebKit which is for Safari now Chrome supports uh, without any render prefixes because I use them so I use the Chrome if I using any other browser if it didn't work in Chrome then just try with this WebKit it wanna work now if I hit F12 you can see uh, you can see that's the thing what you wanted now you can see it's pretty smooth uh, if my video frame rate is a bit slow then it will be choppy then it's but it's uh, pretty smooth as a butter you can hit that's it guys we just successfully done a drop down pretty much here you can increase the width and height if you wanted to increase this much or with the out of the page then doesn't matter uh, thanks for watching this tutorial guys if you like this and if you get useful to this please subscribe here somewhere here will be a subscribe button thanks guys and that's it and thanks for watching this tutorial